Today, we are going to learn about the artist Romero Brito. He is an artist from Brazil. Romero Brito is a neo pop artist, and that's just a fancy word for new popular culture style artist. So he basically creates things that you see today, maybe like Darth Vader. Romero Brito likes to use bright, bold colors. This is a way that he can show his feelings of happiness. Not only is Romero Brito a painter, but he is also a sculptor. And we know sculpting is 3D art. Today, we will be creating a two-dimensional art. We will be drawing a self-portrait. So let's get started. For this project, we're going to use a very large piece of paper. Here is my self-portrait that I created. And here is another portrait that I had drawn of a boy. We are going to be using a piece of paper to help guide us on making the self-portraits and a paint dauber. You can look at this paper and decide what would look best for your features and the way you look. Because this is a self-portrait, we are creating a picture of ourselves. You want to make sure you do not squeeze the bottle, just pushing it down when you are drawing. I like to start off by drawing a U shape for the face. Make sure you don't draw it too small though, so that you can add all the facial features inside of it. Next, I'm going to find what hairstyle I want. This picture is just going to be a portrait since I've already made a self portrait. This is going to be a little girl with curly hair. I need to make sure I add in the ears. Unless your hair is covering the sides of your face, make sure that you add those in. I'm gonna go ahead and just draw my eyes, all my facial features in, the ones that I think would fit me best. And I completely forgot to add a heart to give it that Romero Brito feel. So if you wanna add a heart on the cheek, that might be a good idea too. Once you complete the face, you are then ready to draw on the neck. Make sure that your neck's not too skinny. It needs to be wide enough to support the head. Now this part's the easy part. We're just going to break this all into some different sections. Now, one thing you might wanna keep in mind is to not make too many tiny sections. Each one of these sections are going to have a pattern inside of them. And the more sections you make, the more work it will be for you. Now I'm ready to add in my details. Romero Brito uses a lot of bright, bold colors and a lot of pattern. So let's try and add that to our artwork as well. I'm going in and I'm adding some polka dots, some lines, I'm filling in those areas. And then we will paint over these with watercolors. A little tip for you would be to keep the same color in your hand until you're done creating all of your patterns. Then you can move on to the next color. That would save you time of having to switch from color to color. These lines and patterns are all going to go on the shirt and the background, but not on the face, the neck, or the hair of your self-portrait. And I decided to go ahead and add the heart in now, but hopefully you added yours earlier on. Next class, we will be painting these with watercolors, so that is all I have for you today. 